But in the meantime, let's bring in Oppenheimer analyst Brian Nagel, who has an outperform rating on the stock and calls it one of his top picks. Brian, great to have you on the show. Why did we turn Thanks lower here? Uh, look, I, I think what's happening, I mean, the res re results were, and on the headlines were incredible. I mean, you know, a very strong earnings beat, very strong sales beat. As I dug through the release, you know, if I see one little blemish relative to what may, you know, freak the market out is China's sales growth was only on a currency neutral basis, only up 1%. So I, I think that may be it. Now, of course, like you said, Morgan, we're going to have the conference call here in about, you know, 10 minutes. I'm sure management will discuss, you know, in detail China. I think underlying dynamics in China are definitely getting better. But I think that it's that one number that may be weighed upon the stock at this point. Uh, Brian, so tell me why I shouldn't be concerned about gross margin down 330 basis points and uh, inventories up 16 percent uh, year over year. Now, I, I don't know how that compares quarter over quarter. Maybe maybe it's a, a big improvement, but that doesn't, you know, declining gross margins and still uh, this inventory overhang don't look great. Well, look, I mean, that and that has been the story for Nike and, frankly, for a number of players within the sporting goods or athleisure space. I mean, the positive here, to answer your question, John, is we've made significant progress. Okay, so Nike has been very good at telegraphing weaker gross margins as the company cleared excess inventories. So, like you said, year on year here in the fiscal third quarter, up 16 percent. If you go back to Q2, that number was greater than 40 percent. OK, so they'll, again, they're going to talk a lot about this on the conference call. But the message there is that, you know, Nike has done, I think, a very good job of getting inventories under control. You know, the other way to look at this, inventory is up 16 percent. Currency neutral total sales growth up 19 percent. You know, so that that's about that's kind of where it should be. I mean, there may still be some cleanup that needs to be done. But those numbers are now in line with where they should be. That was not the case a few quarters ago. Hmm. So, so a return, if you will, to pre-pandemic norms, it sounds like. What are you going to be looking to hear? What is your question on the call? Well, I mean, there's, there's a few key topics here. I mean, one, we saw total sales growth, like I said, 19%. You know, that blew away estimates, okay? So but the question there is, what's the trend? What are we seeing into the fiscal fourth quarter? I mean, is there any signs of weakness at all? And the reason I would ask that is because of all these concerns about a slower consumer recession, et cetera. Go back to John's point. I mean, you know, are we are we through this gross margin pressure? I mean, do we have clear line of sight now towards stabilizing gross margins since inventories look like they're getting back in line? And then China. You know, what, what's happening in China? You know, at what point? You know, given the underlying strength of the Nike brand in China, at what point should we start to see much stronger sales growth in that market? Do we have to be concerned, Brian, about a global pull forward in demand for sneakers? People were so excited to get out. D does do sales slow down? <laughs> Look, I, that's, that dynamic is something I'm watching you know, across my coverage universe. You know, the, the, you know, to what extent sales were pulled forward either into the pandemic or, like you're saying, you know, that initial wave of post-pandemic activity. There's going to be a point at which, though, you know, I think we, the further we get away from the pandemic, we worry about that less. You know, and here, and again, you know, the pandemic is still winding down, thankfully. It's, you know, it's, it, the wind out has not been consistent across the United States, across the country. But I think we're getting towards the point now that, you know, with Nike and other companies, that we're starting to see normalized demand. The bigger concern, and again, I don't necessarily harbor this concern, but is, is what happens with the consumer here. You know, there's been a lot of talk about banking crisis and other issues. You know, does the consumer start to weaken? You know, it, that would be the big, that would be, to me, would be the bigger question for Nike.